Hi everyone, this is the Manic Miner <laughs> project that I've been trying for years now to finish. Uh, I'm so close, uh, I've pretty much got everything uh, done as far as the basic uh, render, collision detection, jumping, all that kind of stuff is uh, concerned, but I, I need your help to finish it, because uh, clearly I'm never going to finish it myself. Uh, it's just one of those things. Um, but if you want, then the, the link is below for the GitHub repo, pull down everything you need. Um, and you need to get a mono game uh, framework 3.8 as well. You need that as well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get explaining the project after the fade. So as you know, I've tried to make Manic Miner before in the past and I haven't got quite, quite far and I basically gave up. Um, but in my spare time, I have I've resurrected that, that project, that idea, uh, because I, I think um, Manic Miner is an important game. Um, Matthew Smith created this, this platform game uh, uh, back in the early 80s on the ZX Spectrum, and people have remade it. And so uh, Andy Noble uh, put out a version on the PC, I want to say probably like 20 years ago, uh, it's a great version. It's it's pixel perfect to the original one. So what I thought I would do is I would take a look at his original code, which is written in Blitz Basic, uh, which I've I've actually written a book on, on Blitz Max, which is the success of the Blitz Basic. Um, and I thought I would have a go at recreating it uh, in Unity. So I tried that. It didn't quite work as planned. Um, I do have a version of it. Um, I'm wondering if I can actually show it just now because uh, who knows what's what's in here. So let me just bring this up. Uh, if I go to, what's the folder it's on? Mono MM. So if I go to here and then add this one, this is the, the version here. So if I add that, paste that in there, select the folder. Um, Oh yeah, here we go. So I've got to select the version. So let's go to that one there. And then let's load that, confirm. So it's going to update the version here. So this is as far as I got, and I completely abandoned this version. And really, I, I kind of wanted, it's a kind of rambling video. I probably could have done it as a live stream, but uh, I just wanted to, to sort of show the sort of process that I go through when I'm trying to create something. Um, and I, I try with the thing that I'm most comfortable with. And the thing I'm most comfortable with is Unity. Because uh, I've been, you know, using it for a number of years now. So this is as far as I got with uh, the Unity version. Do I have scenes in here? Game. Okay. So I've got the game version here, and I did my usual thing, which is I, I did it at one pixel by one pixel. So you see, we get air here. The the, the uh, marching uh, minor willies are going to be down here, um, and so on. So uh, this is as far as I got. So it's not bad. It's, it, this is actually the first time I've, I've seen it uh, since doing it. So the movement is a bit floaty. Uh, it doesn't jump either. And you can see when you move back, it, that's when, when things uh, go into to, to problems. And the reason why is because when Matthew Smith was coding it, and I, and I think this is what happens, it, or, or happened with Andy Noble's version, is he used the original graphics from the, the ZX Spectrum version. And the original graphics, I'll, I'll pop them up just now. They they're they're stuck in a 16 by 16 block. So uh, Minor Willie has like three frames of animation, four frames of animation, whatever it is, and he moves two pixels at a time. When he gets to the the, the fourth frame of animation, he's in the next um, eight by eight block, uh, and so the 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 character gets moved eight pixels to that, and then he just starts the walk again, the walk cycle again. But when you flip it to the other side, he's he's basically backwards, and so the the eight pixels have to go backwards. And it uses the code uses some bitwise operations. So if I go to the, the code for this, um, so I think it's in MM Willie. Yeah. Uh, you'll see that all this stuff sets up here, and it checks to see if you're pressing down, all that kind of stuff. Check breadcrumb, draw Willie, um, do Willie left. And then it's all these weird calculations in here about whether he's moving left or right. And then you'll see it's got things like this. So his Y position, for example, when he's jumping, 
it ends it with 248 and that clamps it to a particular point in the screen and i didn't do that for the um, this version of the game and that's why uh, it doesn't quite work now i'm going to show you the um oh did i just close that i did close that darn it okay so now if i show you the mono version of the game which is closer to the code that andy noble wrote back in the, the blitz basic days yes i am enjoying visual studio um i'm just going to launch straight back into to here and you see that we have central cavern and i can move left and right and i can also in just a second jump and you can hear that the desktop audio uh jumps as well and the crumbs work as well see it crumbles there uh the only problem is that you see that the the, the jumps are a bit off so there's a couple of bugs in there um, but the collision detection works using the original source code so it's pixel perfect <laughs> which means that uh, if you mistime this this one here you're going to get stabbed see exactly like that uh, and i haven't got the the, the marching ones there um, the reason why the, the, they are not marching is i haven't got any sound in there um, and once I get the sound in there, then then uh, everything will work. But this is Andy Noble's original um, uh, graphics that he did for the PC version. So Andy, if you're out there, um, I, I think I think I spoke to you a long time ago about doing a version of this. But uh, let me know if it's okay for me to use these graphics. Uh, obviously, Matthew Smith um, he wrote the original code. This is uh, in no way means going to be a commercial uh, endeavor. Um, but I hope he doesn't mind me releasing the source code of what I have so far for this. Because uh, I, I really want someone to take it over. That's really why I'm making this video is uh, I've, I've gone about as far as... I, I mean, I wouldn't mind like tweaking things here and there. There's a couple of mistakes, like if I kill myself uh, a number of times, you see that he, he falls there and he just continually falls. So if I, if I just keep killing myself... Uh, you'll see that the, one of the biggest mistakes is um, the way I've written this. Um, I, I've not gone the way that uh, XNA slash mono game wants to do, which is like create these components. I've just got basically one component. You can see that it, it draws everything and not just the uh, the boot there. Um, so I, I need to fix that because it's uh, I'm going to get rid of that because it's all flickery. Um, but essentially, I've created this. Um, uh, two-dimensional 2d engine down here two-dimensional uh, which is just this game here um, and what it does is it it uses a local content manager uh, if you're not familiar with um, uh, the XNA framework it, it one of the ways to get data into it is by using a content bundler and it basically you put it through a, a pipeline and then that pipeline then munges all the data into like a single block and then you get that block and then you can read things from it or you can just specify a folder and then you can read things from it and that's really what i've done up here so uh, if you look at the 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 object files up here so uh, for example i've got the, all the audio files are up here um, all the images are here uh, and then the the manic minor json file which of course is just uh, the blocks uh, and the way I did that was I wrote this crappy little program. It is the worst program ever. So inside, so um, yeah, if you go to, I'll, I'll put a link below, but and I'll flash it up here as well. Um, but that will that'll take you to the uh, the GitHub repo. Uh, but inside here, there's a, there's like a tools thing, which is a converter. Uh, and if we open up the solution for this, you'll see how basic it is. Um, and I'll show you what I, the source file that I got this from. Um, so if we go to here, we get the program, and so it's just this little jobs done kind of thing. Um, and then the library over here is this map parser, uh, and it is the, the cheesiest map parser ever uh, because it basically just parses the same file over and over again. It is dumb. It is not clever at all. Uh, if you put the slightest, slightest mistake in there, it's going to blow up, but it works. So I, I basically, I filter, I read in all the lines for the map file, um, and I'll show you the map file in a second. 
uh, and I make sure that the, the, the lines don't start with a semicolon because those are all the comment lines and I'm not interested in comment lines. Uh, and the source file <coughs> is this file here. So this is the map level data. So map level data starts at dot levels. So if I go to the room parser, uh, you'll see that it says find the one that starts with dot levels. Uh, and then it just goes through all the lines and, and and does what it needs to do. It then checks to see where the, the level names are. So if I do a search here for level names, you'll see that uh, it's, in fact, hang on a sec. Uh, you'll see that this is all the level names there. So Central Cavern, Cold Room, Menagerie, all that kind of stuff. Those are all the, the levels there. And then so on for, for each one of those. And that's really how the parser works. Uh, and then what it does is it uh, stores this inside a room data file, um, which is all these things in here, but the models themselves are actually all of these, uh, and these are uh, basically verbatim used inside the the, um, uh, the actual game itself, the mono game itself. So anyway, that's really uh, all I want to sort of... Uh, bring up about this game is that, that it's whoever wants to take it on uh feel free to do pull requests on this this repo um and and uh yeah like uh good luck let me know if you need the help with anything i'm going to be still adding to it because obviously there's a couple of things that, that i see that are are broken but if you've got uh, fixes for them feel free to fix them up and maybe we can make this a sort of community effort uh and and get this working again it is it uses um uh, 3.8, so it's 3.8 of the mono game, uh, game, um, let me go to, what am I typing in here, uh, let me go to here, game, So it uses the latest version of Mono Game, which you can get using Nougat packages. You just install it um, in there. Um, and yeah, it uses that. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, good luck to everyone. Um, let me know what you what do you think.